I believe that you can um, use the concept of technolo technology windows opening, you know, and then eventually closing. But, and what I mean by that is enough technology, usually from fairly diverse places, comes together and makes something that's a quantum leap forward possible. And it doesn't come out of nowhere. If you poke around the labs and you hang around you know, the media lab here at MIT and other places, you can kind of get a feel for some of those things. And usually, they're not quite possible. But all of a sudden, you start to sense things coming together and the planets lining up to where this is now possible or barely possible. And a window opens up. And it usually takes around, my experience anyway, my life has been, it takes around five years to create a commercial product that takes advantage of that technical window opening up. Sometimes you start before the window's quite open and you can't get through it and you push it up and you push it up. Sometimes it just takes a lot of work. Took that long you know, with the Apple II, took that long with the Mac, uh, you know, took a Lisa along the way, $100 million. It takes a while. It's a lot expensive to push those windows open. It's, and in our case, you know, our first product failed. We came out with this cube, and we sold 10,000 of them. Why? Because we weren't quite there yet, and we made some mistakes along the way, and we had to course correct. You know, Macintosh was a course correction off the Lisa. So with Apple II and III, we did it in reverse. <laughs> but the, it takes around five years or some number of years like that to, to, to realize that window opening. And then it seems to take about another five years to really exploit it in the marketplace. And, and let me give you some examples in, from my life. Apple II uh, lasted 15 years. 15 years. The hardware churned, but basically it was the same for 15 years. DOS, you know, DOS just passed 10 years. I don't think anyone would disagree that it's going to easily last another five, right? Unfortunately. <laughs> And Mac, you know, Mac is eight years old, right? No question it's going to last another four or five years, right? These things are hard. It's not, they don't last because it's convenient or even because it's economic. They last because they're really, this is hard stuff to do. And so when we are pushing that window open, I think with our current generation of products, we finally got the window open. After six years, it's open. We've got an extremely elegant implementation. And we've got five years of work to do to exploit it in the marketplace. And when, you know, we'll peak in five years. Five years, we'll all sit around and say, OK, it's time to get started on the next thing. It's time to get going on the next thing, maybe four years from now. But we've got a lot of work ahead of us just to move this thing out and educate the market and continue to refine it based on market feedback. So everything I know about technology windows that are open or just about open is in next step, or we're working on it in the labs. And these things generally don't come along independently. They kind of clumps of them come together, has been my experience. So the things that aren't in there right now um, that I can talk about, there's. There's some video stuff that's really interesting that's going to be integrated in. There's some security stuff that's really fascinating that's integrating in. But most of the core technology is in there. Products are getting smaller and portable. Products are getting much, much faster. But these things are well known. You know, the products that we can put on, that we can give to you in the next, in the next year or two are, are going to be running at speeds that I find hard to believe. And I've been doing this for a while. So I, I think. The window's open, and, and I think object-oriented technology is the biggest technical breakthrough I have seen since the early 80s with, with uh, graphical user interfaces. And I think it's bigger, actually. It will prove to be bigger over time. Yes? Yes? 